Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Odd Stocks, the show that will go into the biggest names that I have on the wall. So starting with the first one, AMD. AMD that um, uh, has been seeing some selling pressure day after day after day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days on a row with a red close um, uh, versus the, uh, the open. So red candles here. Yesterday I jump into some calls playing for upside. I locked my profits, very nice profits on that one. Um, uh, looking for a reversal bounce. Uh, the stock is below the 8 and 21 day moving average. So the bull case scenario here needs above 82. Above 82, I'll be extremely bullish on AMD. Looking for a move above 86 and 88 dollars area. So continue to see lots of bullish options activity. Bear case below 70. We can continue the pullback. We have $76, a big support, and below that, we have $73, $74 as the next big support ahead. So keep it uh, on your watch. Yesterday, also Boeing, very nice reversal bounce here on, um, uh, on Boeing, playing far upside versus 164. 164 is the level above uh, 169.6 yesterday highs. We have 172, 173 is the big support, uh, the big resistance. So if it breaks above 175, watch out for a big short squeeze all the way. 180, 190 dollars are possible targets. We have 200 day moving average at 200 dollars, so it can get, give a big explosive move for the upside. BHC, one of the names that um, uh, I got long on Wednesday, uh, long shares, and uh, it worked very well. Yesterday bounced perfectly from the 8 and 50 day moving average, resume back up. Has a possible target here all the way into $18.80, all the way into $90. I start trimming the profits, raising the stops on the rest, and congratulations to all the longs. Disney also very bullish action here after the reversal on Tuesday. Nice upside here uh, in the last couple of sessions. Also seeing bullish options activity on the name. We're looking for a resume above $130. Watch out can go all the way into 136, 137, next logical level. Okay. Staying long versus one. 123 is my support line. Um, one of the names that yes, they had a big explosion up, Expedia Group. Ex uh, had a big explosion up from the 821 the moving average. It was on very nice volume. So that triggered a nice move on uh, uh, some of the uh, airlines also. And um, uh, now what? On these kind of moves, you trim profits. Okay, you already know the uh, the, the rules. Uh, if it goes above 102, uh, it can go into 104, 104. Uh, it's the highest level to break and above that blue sky ahead. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, I would be taking profits, especially after the yesterday stock up more than 9%. Lift, uh, I got into long shares here on Lift. Yesterday, I lost some profits. I got some shares here uh, at $24 area and um, very nice bounce here from 24 25 needs above 25.7 above that i have the next target at 26.5 if it extends 27 28 dollars is the next target seeing bullish options activity so i keep riding the shares here for further upside riding the stops yesterday i also trimmed some profits raised the stops on the rest so keep riding the momentum here for a reversal uh, bounce Overstock yesterday showed uh, some relative strength here and uh, made a reversal bounce, looking above $77 for a big explosion up. Um, it has $87, $86, $87, big, big wall. Yesterday, day one, looking for possible upside in the next couple uh, of sessions. Run yesterday after the last couple of sessions uh, uh, pull back. Yesterday, also saw a reversal bounce. Needs about $59.61 with a possible move all the way into $64. So keep it uh, on your watch versus yesterday lows. Uh, SSYS. Strategies. Um, I got long some shares here also. Um, um, after seeing bullish options activity on the name, looking for possible upside, big upside here. I have a target at twenty dollars in the uh, um, uh, going into next 
here okay so uh, i'll be looking for longs here i i uh, i'm staying long and uh, i will continue uh, looking for possible move into 20 dollars into 2021 this is a long term not uh, something that um, uh, uh, you can flip it on, on a day having patience here seeing bullish very bullish options activity uh, playing for a move um, uh, in the 2022 uh, all the way back into $30 so keep it uh, on your watch uh, Tesla yesterday reported earnings and um, uh, uh, after the earnings uh, the stock uh, pulled back um, I saw s right out of the gate some unusual uh, bull bearish options activity playing for a fading it worked very well uh, it has a support line from this week lows uh, 419 419 is the support breaks below 419 we have 401 as possible next support bull case scenario needs above yesterday highs 445 uh, to uh, try to take 466 as possible next target okay so keep it on your watch zoom uh, also uh, had a, a reversal sell this week on a pullback yesterday holding above uh, $500 area we have 21 day moving average at 497 bull case scenario needs above $530 continues to see bullish options activity so it can reverse back up in the next couple of sessions so also keep it uh, on your watch so those are the biggest names that um, uh, I had uh, on um, on the watch list yesterday we start seeing some reverse buys here for example on sp500 where price push back below the breakout support push back below and push back above and uh, this is very very bullish kind of action pushing above the 821 the moving average so yesterday lows are the key here bull step in now we need continuation above yesterday highs looking for further uh, upside same thing with Dow Jones uh, push below the, the 21 day moving average push back above and right now on the prime market above the 80 day moving average so uh, staying bullish versus yesterday lows yesterday lows are the key day one on the pullback looking for day two if we extend looking for uh, last week highs as possible resistance also small caps yesterday reversal bounce up we have 164 a big big wall uh, above 164 we have a gap to fill at 166 staying long versus 158 158 is the biggest support i will only be bearish below 158 so yesterday it was a day that we saw a reversal bounce that's why i played with um, uh, some calls um, uh, for for the the upside here and i also got on wednesday on some long shares because i was looking for a reversal bounce now let's see how it sticks if it's going to hold the moment or not uh, we are um, uh, less than two weeks for the u.s election so anything can happen uh, volatility tricky market so be careful here manage your risk wisely and stay safe everyone thank you for watching bye bye see you